In today's health headlines, a startling jump in the number of teens using e-cigarettes. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that there was a nearly 80% increase in e-cig use among high schoolers from 2017 to 2018. The report linked the rise to the popularity of Juul, a type of e-cig that uses flavored nicotine pods. A new recommendation by a national panel is changing how pregnant women and new moms treat depression. One in seven women experience depression during or after pregnancy. The panel says doctors should identify at-risk women and refer them to counseling before they develop symptoms. Risk factors include a history of depression or anxiety, abuse, low income, teen pregnancy or pregnancy complications. Under the Affordable Care Act, most private insurance plans are required to cover recommended preventive services at no additional cost. The FDA is cracking down on dietary supplements, specifically those marketed as cures, treatments, or preventatives for serious illnesses like Alzheimer's, diabetes, and cancer. The FDA commissioner says they will be rolling out new enforcement strategies and a new rapid response tool to alert the public of safety issues with the product. Dietary supplements are not reviewed by the FDA before they hit the shelves, but the agency will get involved if they are deemed unsafe or carry misleading claims. Half of all American children with a mental health condition are not getting the necessary treatment. That's according to a new study. Researchers looked at data from a survey of nearly 50 million kids ages 6 through 18 filled out by their parents. They found 7.7 million children had at least one mental health condition. The conditions include depression, anxiety, or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Researchers found only half of them got treatment or counseling from a mental health provider in the last 12 months.